Hello, my name is Joe Hildreth and welcome to another episode of Exploring Joomla 2.5 for Extension Development. In this episode we're going to show you how to uh, download the Joomla CMS uh, and install it into the document root of the uh, virtual host that we set up uh, when we done the uh, LAMP episode and show you how to create the database and then actually install Joomla. Um, so before we get started, uh, I encourage you to uh, check out our website, myheap.com. If you come to Technology and click Exploring Joomla 2.5, this is where you'll find information that uh, about uh, Trent and I and, and the things that we're hoping to set up here. This is where you're going to find the videos that you can watch them um, in addition to watching them on YouTube, but any supplemental material, uh, PDFs or other files that uh, might help along as we progress along uh, with the series at least as uh, much as we can get done. Again, uh, we welcome any questions. Feel free to use the contact us form or post questions in the uh, uh, channel. And we'll try to get to that as soon as we can. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing we'll need to do is download uh, the Joomla CMS. And we can do that by going to joomla.org. When you get to Joomla, you'll come to this page, and we're going to come to the top here to download. And when the uh, submenu or panel pops up, you'll notice that there are several different options here for downloading Joomla. We have the choice of either Joomla 2.5 or Joomla 3.1. Okay, actually I think 3.2 is actually out, it's just not showing here. Uh, and we can get the either the full packages or we can get update packages or we can just demo them and take a look and see what we think about it. Well since this series is about Joomla 2.5, uh, we're going to download the 2.5 full package. So we'll select this link. This opens up to the Download Joomla uh, page, and if we come down about halfway, uh, we see Download Joomla 2.5. This is the full package. Uh, the current version at the time of this recording is 2.5.16. So we're going to click this, and then I'm just going to allow it to save. Now, since I've made no changes to Firefox, uh, my default save location is the Downloads folder in my home directory. Uh, when it's done, we'll get this little notification up here, and we're ready to start. So the next thing we need to do is um, extract this. Now, there's a number of ways that we could extract the file that we just downloaded. Uh, if you're on the desktop, you know you can browse to it and then right-click it, select uh, you know extract, and select the folder. But just in the just in case we have folks out there who are in a command environment, you know, like maybe they've installed. Ubuntu server and not running a desktop GUI, uh, maybe because uh, uh, they have a dedicated machine just for that. Let's. Uh, we're just going to demonstrate using the uh, command line, and I'm going to bring up a command terminal or terminal by pressing Control Alt and the letter T. And it looked like that opened that up on my other screen, but that's okay. And I want to navigate to the folder uh, that I downloaded. Uh, Joomla 2. And remember I told you because I haven't changed any, made any changes to Firefox, it's going to go to the Downloads folder of my home directory. So if I do LS here, there I see the Joomla 2516 full package and the NetBeans from the last uh, episode. Now in order to extract this, we're going to use a program called Unzip. Unzip usually installs by default when you install the operating system, but in the event that it's not there, you'll need to install it. So here's a kind of a nifty way you can check. You can run the command which unzip and basically what this means is we're asking the computer if I were to run this program unzip which one would you use? So when we hit enter here the system comes back and says well I'm going to use unzip from the user bin folder. Now if this came back with uh, just a command prompt that's, that's kind of the way we know that the package isn't there and if we needed to install it we would just simply go sudo apt-get install unzip and then press enter it would prompt us for our password and install the unzip package but we don't need to do that so we already have it but if you need to install it I'll patiently wait you pause me and when you get back we'll be ready to go now unzip um, when you want to use it to extract a zip file to some destination folder basically follows this uh, syntax. We're going to say unzip and then we're going to give it the name of the zip file that we want to unzip and then we're going to give it the minus D switch saying that we have a destination directory and then we would give the directory uh, 
you know we we want to extract to. Okay, as simple as that. We hit enter. It will take the the contents of file.zip and extract it to dir we want. Okay, so knowing that, let's unzip our Joomla package. Now recall earlier that when we set up the LAMP server, we set up a virtual host called myjoom.dev. We created a folder on the desktop called joomdev, and this is uh, this is where we want to unzip this to. So. We're going to unzip, and then I'm going to just do some command completion here. I'm going to start out with typing in a couple letters, a few letters, and hit tab, and it finishes it out for me. Then we hit minus D, and then where do I want it to go? Well, tilde is a special character meaning my home directory, slash desktop, slash joom dev. Okay, this is where I want it to go. I want to press enter. A whole bunch of stuff will scroll up the screen, and if I come up here to my joom dev and double click it here, we see that the contents of the file has indeed been extracted here. So, at this point we've downloaded and we've extracted it, but uh, before we can actually run the install process, we have to create a database for Joomla. And uh, recall, when we set up LAMP, we also installed a program called PHP My Admin. And I said that PHP My Admin allows you to create databases, creates tables, keys, and uh, anything database related. So we're going to open up our browser, and I'm going to go to myjoom.dev slash php my admin. Now when I get here, recall that when we set up the MySQL server, we had to supply a root password. So the username is root, and then you'll put in the password that you created um, for your MySQL server here. And then when you once you get logged in, you'll be in the main screen of PHP My Admin. On the left here, you'll see the databases that exist, and uh, up here's a you know a menu of option of what you can of different things that you can do. Well, we're only interested in creating a database, so we're going to create the databases tab up here. And then in this input field, we can create the name of the database that we want to uh, use. For this series, uh, I'm going to call my database. Joomla 25. Okay, and uh, it's pretty self. It's pretty descriptive. If I see it in MySQL, I know this is a Joomla 2.5 install. The collation, if you need to set it to something other than what the default server sets, you can select it from here. Uh, usually, UTF-8 uh, case insensitive is uh, what the server set up for, and that's perfectly fine for us. So we're just going to hit the create button we get a notification saying that hey the database Joomla 25 has been created and we'll also see it over here and that's all there's that's all we need to do to create the database to install Joomla so we will leave this tab here so so far it's been uh, it's been pretty easy um, now all we have to do is uh, run the installer and how do we do that well we've extracted um, Joomla into a folder and let's go back and take a look at that real quick. If we look inside this folder, we will see a, f a folder called installation. When Joomla first fires up, it actually fires up if we go to myjoom.dev, remember that's the name of our virtual host, it will actually pull this index.php file. This index file actually pulls some information and looks to see if this installation folder exists it kind of check, looks for a config uh, file to see if it exists and, and a few other things. Perhaps we'll go through an episode and, and talk about really how that works uh, sometime if you're interested. Let me know. But anyway, it detects that there's no configuration, so it opens this installation folder and runs the index.php from here. So that's kind of what uh, is going on. This index PHP will set uh, some environment up and then through some, a lot of Ajax calls actually will uh, go through the screens to, to set up and create the uh, the data and the and the tables and and, and the full you know the folder structure everything that you need uh, for Joomla to run correctly. So let's uh, go back to our browser here and we'll open a tab and we want to go to myjoom.dev and hit enter and see it automatically brings up the installation folder with that index PHP. 
So this first screen, uh, pretty simple. We just need to choose what language we're going to use. I uh, speak English and I live in the United States, so that's what I'm going to select. I'm going to hit Next. Here we go through some pre-installation checklists. The important ones are this top group right here. We want to make sure that they say yes. These are recommended settings, and sometimes the actual setting will be different depending on uh, how we have uh, PHP uh, set up. And, uh, for example, we might want display errors turned on or something like that so that we can uh, see the errors that we're getting. And we'll cover that as we... Uh, go, get a little further into it. So as long as these here by default probably uh, will say yes, shouldn't have any issues. If you do have an issue, um, uh, shoot me uh, an email or, or post and I'll try to help you uh, figure it out. So we're going to hit next. Okay, this is the GNU license. This is the license that uh, Joomla has been written under. Uh, feel free to read that. Uh, once you get through that, you can hit next. And now we're to the database configuration. Because we're running a local development server, our host name for our database server is going to be localhost, so we don't need to change that. The username is the user that uh, will be accessing the database that we're going to supply here down below. Now, in a production environment, we would set a user, a specific user, up to use that database with their own password and set their permissions individually. However, I'm going under the guise that the machine that we're setting up here and using is not intended to go on the internet or, or service any calls from the internet so I'm just going to use the root um, user from uh, my uh, MySQL and I want to put in the password that I set up for that. Remember you set that in the uh, LAMP series. And then the database name, remember we just created, is called Joomla25. Okay, now the table prefix in the old days this used to be called just JOS underscore, um, but now these these are kind of randomly generated to kind of make it hard to guess a, a database uh, exists out you know if, the, if a database is specifically a Joomla database. So I would just leave whatever random letters that generate there. You can put whatever you want there. You can even put JOS underscore there if you want. So at this point we're going to hit next. This takes a little bit because it's creating the database tables. And that sort of stuff. Hopefully it won't take too long unless I didn't type something right. Okay, now at this part is the FTP configuration. Now typically you can skip this. Even on a live site, you can skip this. I, I have never used the FTP layer. Uh, some people do, but considering this machine is local, we really don't have any need to FTP to our own machine that we're sitting at. So I'm going to hit Next. Okay, and then this is the main configuration. We can get uh, the site names, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call mine Joomla Development. And your email address Okay, and the admin username and the admin password. Now, in older versions of Joomla, it was uh, the admin username was always set to admin. You can actually set it to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it uh, as admin uh, because I'll be the only one using it. I'm going to set a password on this, and I'm going to repeat the password. Okay, now we have the option of installing sample data. And this is really up to you. It does install quite a bit of sample data. You have the uh, uh, the choice of what kind of data you want to you want to uh, install in there. And if you're dealing with you know going to write a component that has a lot of articles, you don't want to create the articles. Uh, maybe that's a good thing to do. I'm not going to install it uh, simply because I just want uh, the cleanest, simplest install that I can get. Because I, I plan on kind of walking through some of the file structures with you in a future um, uh, video. So, but if you do want to install it, just click that button and, and it will push all that stuff into the database for you. So now I'm going to hit Next. Okay. And now it's telling me, hey, congratulations, it's installed, but we need to remove the installation folder. And there's a, a button here that will allow us to do it from here. 
remember I told you that um, Joomla checks to see if there's a config file and if there's a config file does the install installation folder exist if it does it won't run so we have to remove that so I'm going to click this button we should get a little notice here that says hey the installation folder is successfully removed okay and at this point we can either visit the site front end or the administrative back end of the site well I'm just going to click site so here we know that we have successfully installed Joomla we get the uh, we get the banner and, and, and the menu and that sort of thing. Uh, let's test the back end. Let's open up another tab. We're going to go to our virtual host, which remember is myjoom.dev, and we're going to go to administrator. And we should be presented with a login box down here. This is admin, unless you've changed it in the install, and then the password you set. Okay, so once I've logged in, I'm presented with the administrative backend. So that's pretty much it. You have Joomla 2.5.16. If, if, if it's the same as this video, maybe you have one that's a little newer, installed, up and ready, and ready to go. The, in the future episodes, I'm going to show you how to take this Joomla install and import it as a project inside a NetBean so that you can look at some of the classes uh, uh, that are there you can you can walk up and down the classes and, and look at the documentation and that sort of thing so I hope you've enjoyed this if you have any questions again um, please post in the YouTube channel or again you know you can visit our website and uh, you can use the contact us link at the top of the page and and I'll get back to you as, as soon as I can either myself or Trent so I hope hope uh, this is informative and helpful and I uh, hope you have a, a great day and a great week thanks for watching Thank you.